It's done. Yes, we made sure he's dead. Yes, we zipped it up. What's she saying? She wants to know where we're going to dump the body. Jace. We're going to feed him to Jace. Jace, the mangrove's croc. Yeah. All right. We'll call the morning, Prime Minister. Or should I say, catch you in the AM, PM. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have. Yeah, you should never, never say that. How'd she sound? Ruthless. Not dissimilar to easy motherfucking eat. Yeah, and like a true gangster, she's in minions, do all the stupid, dirty work for her. Yeah, it's gangster. That's politics, baby. Yeah, baby. And you know what else is gangster? Dinner at a reasonable hour. Read my mind, Craig. Never dump a body on an empty stomach. Mean to be so cold blooded that the soul is so flooded of the minds and the thoughts that are so good and bad things have flowed under all the brass of the bars that he muddy lay on. You see me as a road runner, yeah, you can't keep up, I just better that I lay on. To be fair, you don't want to dump a body on a full stomach either. Might throw up on it. Only rookies throw up. Grab your fucking bucket, Brad, because we are rookies. No, we're not rookies, we're political advisors. Junior political advisors. So juniors aren't capable of incredible things. Bingo. Tell that to Dr. Martin Luther King. Brad, we dumped dead bodies with PM. So? She's playing us, man. She's not playing us. She's grooming us. Grooming us? Grooming us. Like a couple of inbred pedigree poodles for a quarterly canine beauty pageant. What's the name of that pageant, Craig? Don't you make me say it, Brad. You know it's my cabinet. Oh, you say it. Cabinet. 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 Ah, <laughs> cabinet. The taxpayer's <laughs> dollar at our disposal. Stupid taxpayer. Interviews with the Mike McRoberts three times a week. Business trips to Bali like three times a quarter. First class worth the complimentary beverage. Oh, hey, that's taxpayer's dollar. Yeah? Well, fuck your taxpayer's dollar. Best of all, Brad. Hookers. Lots and lots of LJ hookers. Little Japanese hookers. Life of an MP. <laughs> One day, when we earn it, we turn that little MP around. What's it spell? PM. From then on out, our careers are going to be smooth sailing. Yeah, smooth sailing right into the penitentiary center when we get caught. Don't worry, Craig. Only rookies get caught. <coughs> Novus. Evening, gentlemen. Evening, officer. Going a little fast back there. I was doing like 55 in the... 54. Like I said, a little fast. What happened again, sir? Relax. I'm not here to give speeding tickets. I'm after the big fish. Gangsters, murderers. Do you know any murderers? What's in the bag? The body bag? No. The doggy bag. Just a couple of cheeseburgers. Can I have a fry? Yeah, come on, come on. Go ahead. What's in the body bag? Well, it's not a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I better go now. Remember, just drive a little slower. Yes, officer. It started out fun, right? I'm confused, I'm prepared. Just understand, I am the man with the gun in the hand. Keen on the shot. Who thought it'd be the day that I ran out of luck? Crossing the state lines with a body in my truck. Brad, I need to say something. Lay it on me, B1. This is gonna be my last dump. I told you to go at McDonald's. No, I don't need to drop trout. I mean, dumping dead bodies. Craig, this is politics, baby. There's no time to be morally amphibious. It's too draining emotionally. Yeah, so deal with it professionally. Look what she makes us do. Don't you go soft on me now. We have a dead man in a bag. Yeah, Craig, a dead white man. And honestly, it's about fucking time. We could go to jail. Or grow up. Politicians don't go to jail. 
Yeah, they get worse. They get shamed by the New Zealand public. Maybe I don't give a flying 47 about what the New Zealand public thinks. They're never satisfied, always complaining, and honestly, they just, they just stinks. But I'm resigning. I don't accept your resignation. Or officially, you can't do that. Well, emotionally, I can. I guess after tonight, I'll just do my dumps alone. Let's just do this last dump together. Come on, Jace. Come here, buddy. Come on, Croc. We got a fresh MP for you. He can't understand you. Yeah, he recognizes my voice and he associates that with mealtime. Oh, fine. Let's just take one last look at his face for respect. Oh, he still looks so alive. Sometimes dead bodies continue to breathe for up to three days. Should we look at his willy? Nah, there's no time. Okay, you grab his top, I'll grab the bottom. Yeah, I know how to throw a dead body, Craig. Sorry. On three? On three. One. Two. Two. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck me for what? For pulling out on me. Yeah, I'm pulling out before it gets complicated and messy. Can't you see that pulling out now is the messiest thing? It's the safest thing. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna swallow it anymore. It's not about swallowing your pride, Brad, okay? We have no protection. Yes, she is protecting us, and I will not accept this abortion. I'm not aborting our friendship. I'm aborting my career. Maybe that's not your choice. My career, my choice. Don't touch me. You sound just like one of them. Who? A common taxpayer. Well, newsflash, Brad. You're a taxpayer too. It's just a load of bullshit. You're nothing but a common taxpayer. You're just saying things you don't mean in the heat of the moment. That's politics, baby. <laughs> Break it up! Ah, no! Ah, what? You're supposed to be dead! Yeah. Well, the bag wasn't fully zipped up and I wasn't fully dead, rookies. We are political advisors. Junior political advisors. Advisors, huh? When was the last time the Prime Minister took your political advice? Ah, heaps of times. Ah, like this one time when she had really low blood sugar in the afternoon and Craig offered her a raisin bread. You know what? She took some. Fuck yeah, boom. That's nutritional, not political. Hey, you try leading the country on low blood sugar. Yeah. Snap out of it, fellas. She's playing you. Trust me, they did the same thing for me. You know, I dump bodies for all the big dogs. Clark, Shipley, Key. And on one particularly dark night, Brian Tarmaki. Oh, I've done some dark shit, fellas. But just because you do dark shit doesn't guarantee cabinet. Wow. wow. Cabinet. cabinet. What's, What's it, it like? like? Well, it's. It's cabinet. Do you really get to spend the taxpayer's dollar? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised there's any left. In Bali? Oh, just came back on Tuesday. I thought you looked tanned. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, 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 Mike McRoberts. What's he like? Ah, uh, he's an asshole. Never meet your heroes, fellas. Wait, if, if doing dark shit didn't get you into cabinet, then what did? Well, I don't really want to say it. It's embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed. Well, it... Uh, it was hard work. We don't understand. Yeah, just be more specific. I got <coughs> Just say it. <coughs> Three, two, one, say it. I got a degree! Oh! Ooh! 
Bruce! You see, this is exactly why I didn't want to tell you guys. I knew you would react this way. What did you expect? Hard work is strictly off the table. Yeah, there has to be another way. Well, you... You could say something bad about someone good that isn't necessarily true. Tell us. Maybe the lovely auburn of our Prime Minister's hair isn't her natural colour. You just made that up. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Ah, magic of politics, boys. Mm. Oh, now you listen here. Dumping dead bodies is one thing, but spreading nasty rumours? Mm. Terrible person. Bingo! Sorry to burst your rookie bubble, fellas. Stay out of our bubble! Yeah, leave us alone! I will leave you alone. Right after I kill the both of you. What? No! But why? Because you two remind me of me. And I hate that. That's mean. You don't even have a weapon? I don't need a weapon. I'm gonna smother you both with my bare hands. Please don't. Oh, oh. Not like that. Oh. Who's it gonna be, boys? Just make it easy. Freeze, bitch! Oh. Drop those smothering hands. Wait! Uh, I don't feel like running today. My hammies are killing me. That's okay. I get the same thing up my glutes. Hey, thanks for saving us. De nada, empenada. Spanish? Mm-hmm. So what happens now? Good morning, Prime Minister. Is that the PM? Don't worry, it's just a police officer. Tell her I love her hair. Did you know it's not her natural color? Oh. No, actually, it's not done. Because the bag wasn't fully zipped up, and the dead body wasn't fully dead. It ran away. Yeah, we fucked up. Because that's what happens when you're a rookie. You fuck up. And you know what? Craig's resigning. Ah, uh, Craig. Craig, the guy who does all this dark shit for you and dumps dead bodies? Yeah, he's resigning. And a matter of fact, so am I. Good night, Prime Minister. So, that was the PM? Once upon a time. So, what are you boys gonna do now? Well, we need to find a career where we can still abuse power. Where we can still spend the taxpayer dot and all the free trim flat whites in the world. Not to mention the biscotti. <laughs> Let's, Let's be, be cops. cops. You guys would be terrible cops. But who cares? So am I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>